hi welcome back to the channel sorry it's very dark in here today i want to talk about these this is the most important thing i think and the best thing i've ever bought for sim racing and it's the inverted pedal mod from track racer for the tr160 i believe it also fits the 120 as well so this is it as you can see it's a steel structure i'll show you more from the outside of it shortly but that is my normal v3 pedals they are inverted obviously you have to swatch it swap the accelerator and the clutch round quite an easy job to strip and then it's a good excuse to give it a good clean up and re-grease everything on the shafts uh, so that's not a big job text now i'm having max and then it also comes with this plate here as you can see it's a solid piece of steel and this is your footrest now there is a lot of method around fitting one of these because the instructions that come with it aren't great well, the garbage, I'll show you them later on. And also, there's no predetermined um, position to put this in. You have to just move about until you, you're comfortable with this position and obviously that position as well. So there is a lot of messing around with it, but the gain for me was enormous. It, I probably am a bit different because I have a very bad left ankle and and because I do use left foot braking, I was finding it difficult to pull my foot all the way down because I've had it fused. So with the pedal like it is and it's upright, it's much, much easier for me to brake and much less stress on my ankle. So that was the reason for doing it for me, but it just feels so much nicer to drive this way. So yeah, this is it from the inside anyway. I'm gonna go, let's go and have a look at it from the outside and you can see more of how it's constructed. Okay, so this is the unit from this side, and as you can see, it's a solid piece of steel. Now, this is exactly the same as the pedal plate you get when you buy the TR160. This does come with it. This isn't a, an, an add-on you need to buy. It does come with it if you don't have this plate on your 160. And it also has a retaining bar up here to hold it. There's, I, I don't know, there's absolutely zero movement in anything on here. It's rock solid. I have my butt kicker out on top of here, which works perfectly where it is. And then you can see where the bolts are going through to secure my pedals. That one's under there, actually, but it's very easy to do. And then I'll show you from the side so you can see how it's constructed. So you have these two huge pieces of steel that mount to the frame there so you can see they go on the frame there now you have to take your original one of these out which has the fancy tilt thing all that has to go and because this mounts it on top and also the plate here for your feet your foot best plate goes mounts under the rig so if you've already got your rigging like I have you're in for some real fun it took me ages to get the bolts in because obviously I'm hardly going to strip the rig to do it so if you this is really, I suppose, designed for someone that's building the rig from scratch, but I had to do it this way. Obviously, the angle is determined and height by these bolts. So these are just your angle. You can bring, obviously, if you brought that one up and left that one where it was, it would change your angle. If you bring them both up at the same time, it adjusts the height of the pedals to get them higher off the foot plate, etc. So they are easy enough to adjust. But you will have to do some messing around. So there's a couple of things that I didn't like about this. The instruction manual that comes with it is a complete pile of garbage. I'm going to show you that. We'll go through that in a bit. And also the hardware here. So these are cap head. No one uses these button heads anymore. They're just terrible. They should have proper hex heads on here. And they've already started to strip. They're just awful. So you, what will happen is, sorry, it's not strip. It rounds this off because it's so soft, the metal. Um, very disappointing that they've used these, to be honest, because everything else has come with cap heads, but it also comes with them down there. I've got another set on order. I'm going to replace them all because I just don't like them. So that's basically it. But as you can see, I hope, I don't know if you, I'm hoping you can see that there's no flex at all in this thing. I was worried it'd have flex. I was worried that I'd be able to move it side to side. I, I don't know why. I just was, but you can't. And for the price, I don't think it's that bad. So let, talking about price, let me come out of this now. We'll go look on the website. I'll show you the product on the website. And then I'll also show you the PDF that comes. Well, you don't get anything with it. You have to download it. The PDF for fitting this thing to your rig. 
Okay, so here we are on the website, and this is the item I bought. You can buy it for £119, but it doesn't come with this plate. So it's £129 with the plate. I did, it wasn't in stock at 119 without the plate because I didn't actually need it because I had it. But it's now out of stock here as well, I've noticed. It says coming soon. But this is... Uh, I should have some, maybe show sure some better pictures of it here. So as you can see... Now if you look at these bolts that's showing you here, they are... They're the same, but these bolts look completely... Oh, no, they might be the same, actually. But, yeah, these are the bolts that I'm on about. The horrible the hardware that comes with it. It's not great. Overall, I think it's brilliant. So, this just tells you something about it. It fits everything. Or it fits all these, anyway. Um, and it also fits some of the hotter stuff that come for the pedals for them. And, yeah, it's a nice piece of kit. Uh, it's an expensive piece of kit. However... For me, I didn't think it was because of the fact that I really needed it. So let's just have a quick look at the instructions. We'll just have a really quick look at them. These are the instructions, what they are. So this is it. When you print that off, you get two bits of paper, four bits of paper like that. You can build it with these, don't get me wrong. And maybe I'm whinging for the sake of it, but I just find these quite appalling. Uh, the instructions are not great. And God knows what happened to the day where they ever had a manual in the box. So you have to then go on your PC to do it. And I just find it annoying that you don't get a manual. But it seems to be the way it's going now. But as you can see, they're not the best. In fact, they're, they're quite awful. But you get it gets the job done, I suppose. And I've noticed on other stuff, the newer stuff they sell, the manuals seem to be a lot better. Um... I'll just see if I can show you an example of this here. This is the V2 one. Sorry if it takes a while to load. I'll back out of it if it's going to take too long. It's just um, the way it goes through on the site. And it has to do a download in the background first. But I, I just find that the whole manual thing... And this is, this is far better manual. So this is the manual for the V2. Um, so this is the one for the... Um, 120 is it and as you can see it's this is so much better of a manual so it would be much better they've done that but there you go so I like the product it works fantastically well for me and it served a massive purpose that I needed it for uh, I like track racer stuff I love this rig uh, there's a few things that probably I would change if I could but overall I think for the price of the rig and for the now fact I've got this add-on as well and they do this add-on for it because that's another important thing they do actually do this uh, it makes a massive difference to me so thanks ever so much for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic day and enjoy the rest of your week